Hey guys, welcome to my video. Uh, this is Cavity, and uh, I got lots of support from my first video that I made yesterday, so I thought I'd make another one. I get tons of questions on this subject, so I thought I would make a video on it. So what we're going to talk about today is UI features, little tips and tricks of um, some of the UI stuff that I'm doing and messing with, and how you can kind of enjoy the game a little bit better. Um, uh, and a little bit easier. So most of you already know the basics of the UI. You have the targeting, the locking on, you have your spinning things that are going on here. Um, and obviously you have your chat. And I do apologize, uh, two things going on. I do have bronchitis, so if I'm coughing, I do apologize about that, I'll try not to. And second, I am soloing a uh, medium eight on my two accounts, so um, I do got to make sure I don't kill myself during this. So let's talk about some of the things that you may have may, may have missed. Um, first off, targeting. Uh, when you're focused firing, you have this little spinning radial. If you click over, your weapons don't move over, but your spinning radial does. This is really important because when you um, want to make sure you kill the next target, all you got to do is just put that little radial over it and when it dies let me focus fire on my other guy here he's not shooting the right thing when this dies um, i will automatically move all my weapons over which is great um, so that's kind of a basic that we want to do the other thing is if you notice i'm always rotating at a set orbit and a lot of people struggle with man it keeps adjusting and it you know I can set it once but I'm constantly having to come in here and click orbit and set what I want and it's very frustrating so there's two steps that you have to do for this what you want to do is go into your settings you want to come down to battle settings and I have everything turned on you may not um, but what you want is this default orbit range clicked so make sure that's clicked that's step one step two if I can zoom in on my ship here while you're doing this zoom in on your ship and you're looking for the set orbit button here hold left click on that and this will be a permanent orbit that you want to set so I'll set mine I'll just set it at three kilometers this time now when you do that and you're already fighting it doesn't change it but if I just click orbit just a quick click it will now adjust to three kilometers should oh uh, yeah you should adjust unless I hit it on four by accident let's try this again three kilometers and then you hit orbit there it goes so I must have fat fingered it over to four so <clears throat> this is really effective um you will never have to worry about dealing with um, your orbits where you want like my missile boat I can shoot 42 kilometers away I have it sitting at 40 kilometers right now it doesn't take any damage it works quite well I don't have to worry about it it's on my phone I can kind of AFK it a little bit and really focus on my speed tank so that's the first little tip um, if you know you want to kill this guy next over here just keep your little radio on it but then leave your missiles and everything going over here and as soon as it dies it's gonna pop over so that's tip one tip two uh, up here you have three icons it's probably actually gonna look more like this with the plus sign you're gonna want to take advantage of these uh, click it add what you want I prefer encounters but maybe you like mail maybe you like the market whatever you want is fine you'll get your three quick clean uh, quick links here and you'll find that it's a lot easier than clicking your face finding which one you want and going sometimes we all do the oops I hit the star chart so these are kind of cool if you use something a lot you can quickly put it in here now if you want to change it just hold the button down uncheck what you want and check what you do want okay and what's really neat is if you put skills here there's a timer which is kind of cool because you kind of know when your next skills coming up all right so that's tip number two uh, tip number three let's talk about fleet commands so in the fleet commands you're gonna have two boxes here okay uh, the first box there's two different spots to click if you click in the plus sign you're gonna see everybody in the fleet as well as a find if you need to or you can add somebody 
and then the bottom you're going to get these weird little commands here located here repair required capacitor and standby so the, this is where your logistic guys are really going to love you if you take advantage of this as well as really hard content that you really need to focus fire on and here's why first off you're going to want to go into this box and go into this little clock here. And you're going to want to come down here to this little thermometer, which is your filter option. And you're going to want to click that. And you want to kind of scroll down. And if you're a DPS guy, you're going to want to uncheck repair command. If you're a logistics guy, you're going to want to uncheck attack and just leave repair command up. Why? Well, if you're a speed tank, okay and you're kind of getting handed to you here by the enemy but you know you have a logi guy and you're repping pretty good but you could use a little help you can click down here in the command and ask for a repair required now everybody in the fleet is going to get that command but if you turn it off because you're not a logi guy you'll never see it it'll never pop up the logi guy will get a command down here let me i'll turn it on let's see here I'll show you guys what it looks like and I'll use my other account. So the Logi guy will get this command. And what you do is you click that and it will automatically target the guy that's getting hurt. And you can do what you need to do to heal him, shield him, repair him, whatever it is. So that's a very, very useful command. Second, um, you know, we've all been in that moment where you're like, oh crap, I got to warp out. I'm going to die. Okay, well, the located here command active. is a really neat thing. We call them pings. Most people probably have experience with it, but if you click it mid warp, you do not have to deal with trying to figure out where was I. You're gonna go and you're be like, oh man, what was I just fighting? Okay, maybe I'll go in here and maybe click warp two. And then when you try to click it, it's like, oh, you're still flying, it doesn't work. Don't worry about that. Click the ping. Watch what happens. I didn't touch anything. It's automatically throwing me back to where I am. It's a very useful, useful tool. If you're headed to your station and you know your corporation's like, hey, let's join in a fleet. And as soon as you join the fleet, they're pinging you. Just click the ping. It's no big deal. If it's different warps, it's going to put that little triangle up here that you're going to have to click to make sure to confirm, yes, I do want to change. Oh, we're in a new fight here. So hold on. Let me make sure I don't die from these guys here. So I'm going to focus fire the little slasher I'm going to turn on my speed tank. I did a speed tanking video. I'm currently speed tanking right now, which you guys can see. Uh, if you guys are interested in what I'm running, the rigs, things like that, there's the other video. Um, bear with me here. I just need to make sure I'm not going to die on this tier eight. And it looks like I'm going to be just fine. And except my other guy is getting pounded because I wasn't there. So I got to warp him out and I got to send him a ping for coming back. Okay, um, so there's some other neat commands as well. If you're doing some really tough content and you're either an officer in the Corps, or excuse me, if you've been a deputy in the fleet or you're the actual fleet commander, you can do fleet commands for the next target. Now, when I click that on my other account, it moves the radial over to here or to like move it to this one. And we discussed weapons don't move over. This is always kill the next target. So if you got a really good fleet doing really hard content, uh, all you do is just set up your next target, set up your next target, and you'll find things die really, really, really fast. Uh, let me just send my guy back. Uh, I'm getting blown up a little bit, but I think I'll be okay. All right. So when you have Logi guys, Make sure you're using capacity or repair required. Make sure you're using, you know, located here. Follow the pings. It's a really cool command. This is a very cool feature that helps fleets move and micromanage. Right now you can only have 10 players in a fleet, but uh, we can kind of go with that. So that's uh, step two, three, four, five, and six, but I know there's a bunch there. That's another big trick. Um, let's see, make sure my targets. All right, so the next thing is dealing with this monster most people have this is their default 
Oh, lag. I'm lagging. And I'm doing okay. Um, that's turned off. So this is kind of what you get. So first tip, I would highly recommend. Man, I am getting dis destroyed. Time to run out. My other ship is in there, so I'm kind of. Warp drive active. All right, so let me go save my butt here. And we'll talk. Okay, so <clears throat> your filters are, this is kind of the way they start out. Now, what you're going to want to do is first off, check this box. It's going to create everything that you can see, whether it's far away or close. Um, if you want to just minimize stuff into asteroids, you want to minimize stuff just into planets or like anomalies, you could just click one of these and it'll show it. If you need to kind of show everything again, you click up here and then you click down here and it'll show everything nearest the forest. Um, but it's kind of cumbersome. So what you want to do is click this little plus sign here and you can create a new plan. So we'll click this here and we'll click rename and we'll, I have the chat bug, so you won't see it till I click it. We'll say YouTube. Oh, yep, yeah, and that didn't work. The chat bug is horrible. Absolutely hate the chat bug. So we'll rename, click it, hold backspace, and we'll go YouTube and hit confirm. Now, this is like the master folder. Now I want to hit the plus sign and I'm going to create a label. So we'll change the tag and we'll say PVE. And then over here, there's a little click here. And let's say we're going to do the crosshairs. And then you're going to tell the game, what do you want? So I don't want to have the ships on the side. I don't need it. That's a kind of a PVP thing for me, for my structure. I'm definitely going to want to see stations. I'm going to want to see stargates and warp gates. There's really no citadels in the game right now, so I'm not worried about it. Celestial bodies. You know, if you're a miner, you're going to need these. For me, I only have the sun because I warp the sun all the time to kind of save my ass. So that I have that. For signals, I just have the anomalies. And I want wreck, cargo container, and pirates up. I don't really want to see the drones. <coughs> you may want to see police, but quite honestly, that's more of a PvP thing. And then for standing, um, absolutely, you're going to want at least neutral and hostile. Uh, there's nothing wrong with clicking everything, okay? Um, and then I'll hit save tag. And then what I want to do for me is I'm going to add another one. I'm going to deal with the chat bug. I'm going to say, let's go PvP. And for PvP, I'll use like the plane. And this one, I like seeing the different types of ships, so I'm going to do that one. For structure, I'm definitely going to want a Stargate and Station. I don't need, well, I'll leave a Warp Gate, actually, because I do end up finding people on Warp Gates. Celestial Body. I don't have a ship right now to deal with these uh, ships that can fight Warp Disruptors. So, yes, I would want that, but not right now. Not till I get to higher tech. Um... But sun, sure. I tend to warp out to suns a lot. I'm definitely going to want cosmic anom anomalies. Eventually, I'll want asteroid belts when I can deal with these uh, plus two ventures to a warp disruptor. But right now, I don't. Um, for other issues, uh, yep, grab my wreck, cargo. I'm definitely going to want to... Um, I don't want pirates, actually. I don't want to click pirates. I'll see them, but I don't need to see them on my right-hand side. Um, drones, yes, I'm going to want that. And then for standing, um, this wouldn't be bad to be a, a save tag for everything, right? <clears throat> so let's do one more for the people that do, let's say, mining. So chat bug again. We're going to do mining. And then we're going to pick a nice little icon. So um, I kind of like this icon. That kind of works. So I don't need to see ships. That doesn't bother me. For structure, I'm going to want stations. I'm going to want stargates, but I don't need warp gates. I'm definitely going to want asteroids. Um, maybe a sun to warp out to, but you probably don't need it because of 
um, all the different asteroids you can jump to. Planets are good because if you guys are running your um, planetary production, you're going to want to do that. For signal, asteroid belts, sure. Um, don't need cosmic anomalies. And uh, probably nothing wrong with doing select all in here because you're going to want to see if something's in the area. As well as the standing, I would just select all as well. Okay, so now I have this, right? Well, what's neat is, is I can go into the master file and I have different folders. So the YouTube one is here and I have a drop down box. If I wanted to be a miner, look at, I got all the mining things that I care about. <coughs> it shows that I got, look at here, a friendly showing up here. So it shows me there's two friendlies here and there's a guildy here, which is myself. Um, and then I have all these other options here. So if I would just want to do asteroid clusters, I could just start running to these asteroid clusters. If I wanted to do planets, I could go to the planets. If I need to shift gears, change out ships, bam, PVE. Let's go. Switch it into PVE. Um, of course, I lost where my anomaly was, so we'll just fleet command to one. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, so I didn't explain this. Um, when you click fleet command and the warp, you can hold the left click and you can decide how far away you want to warp your fleet into. That's another trick. So for me, I'm going to put it at about 30 kilometers because I have a long range missile boat plus my short range. Warp so I'm going to run my guys out there. Um, and then when I'm doing PVP, I can switch it over. I can see the anomalies and the planets and stuff to warp to, but I don't need to see the other stuff. What do I care about asteroids and stuff like that? I can't deal with these ventures with plus two warp disruptors anyway, so I'm just going to warp out. Let's go back to PVE. So that's how you create these profiles. And I'll show you one more thing, which is really, really fun. Um, people are going to love you for this, as long as you don't spam them. But let me set up my combat real quick. That way I don't get dunked right on YouTube. Get this going. Yep, everything's cycling good. I'm gonna target everything on my other guy. And I have no clue if this was um, the last one I was doing or not, but whatever. I need to make money while doing talking on YouTube. All right, I think we're doing good here. Ooh, that was a big hit. I just gotta start doing circles and I'll be fine. There we go. I'll focus fire my other guy. There we go. I should be fine. What you want to do when you do these speed tanking is you want to get rid of the small guys first. And the icons here, that's another little tip. The icons show you the size. So this little small triangle is your frigate. The small triangle plus a line, which isn't here, is a destroyer. Then the next one is a cruiser. And then the battle cruiser is the, the big house with the line under it. So I'm looking good on this, and I should be okay. So I can kind of, all right. So now you got this pretty sweet three different things, right? You can actually share this. If you click down here and you click that again, you can actually share this to the community. So if someone asks you, hey, can you share me your really awesome overlay? No problem. You can put it in corp, fleet, or local. And people can click it save it and they got it okay so that's another big tip on how to deal with that so we covered fleet commands we covered up here we covered this all right here's another cool trick i showed this in my other video but not a lot of people recognize it um whenever you look at an item let's say you want to look at this nosferatu or actually this is actually a bad one so we're looking at let's hold the left click down so we're looking at this web of fire um, and you want to kind of know what skills really affect it this little three dots down here at the bottom of every item on the description will actually show you the skills um, at a quick glance what you have and if you want to click it and train you can okay um, and this is pretty cool when you take a look at ships when I look at my condor 2 and I scroll all the way down there's a little three dots you click it look at it shows you all the things that affect it except for the type of weapon you want to use. So these are all your basics, but the shields, the armor, and the weapons are not showing up there, okay? So 
that's a really neat and quick way to see like what's your skill at what affects things um in reverse which hey i have this here so i can use it let's say i'm looking at something and I'm trying to figure out what does electronic warfare affect when you click it it will have the three dots here as well and it will show you if it affects webifiers and disruptors you may already know that but if you don't there's another cool little tip all right um some other little little things this little button in the center is a quick snap out so you can see full out now there was a point where they actually showed measurements but they took that away um, for frame per second reasons and they're gonna probably put it back I don't want to touch this button but I promise you if you touch this button it will go 100% to zero on the stop or if you hold it down you're gonna get that radio where you can decide how much like if for any reason you want to reduce your speed you can reduce it uh, another neat little button down here below it this little cog wheel they need to change this icon but it actually will allow you to just take a quick screenshot boom and you can save it on Facebook save it on Twitter it's kind of cool um, most people on their phones want to you know click the two buttons or whatever to take screenshots but if you're using blue stacks like I am you can use that button and that'll help you uh, some other things you have down here in the chat you can actually reduce um, what you're seeing you could get rid of all local if people are being really toxic <clears throat> you could actually pull everything out and just have corporation and fleet um, that's another little tip for you for people in the system if you click this button here you can actually minimize the pictures and at a blink you can see if anybody in the system is an enemy or not so I think there was see there's one person here that we got to watch for <coughs> Excuse me, I do have bronchitis right now, and I'm trying not to cough in your guys' ear. All right, uh, what other tips and tricks? Let me think here. Um, oh, when you have these icons on the side, like when it's time to loot, that's also really helpful too, as well as looking at what anomalies are in the system. Um, and they're they're pretty neat. Um, I really do enjoy the fact that I can see everything with at a snap, and it really makes life easy. Look at that tick, 142,500 for that kill. <laughs> um, I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, star charts. So when you're looking at the star chart, sometimes when you pull it up, you get this big blob. If you click this icon up here, it will tell you exactly where you are. And quite honestly, we're at a point right now where everybody kind of knows where we are. And if you don't, it's not a big deal because if you come to our system, you get blown up. But it will show you exactly where you're at. However, let's say you need to repair. You can click the pie chart down here and change it to stations, and it will show you all the places that you can go to repair. Um, now, blue stacks should be a plus or, or up arrow. Now, if I want to kind of go, let's see, a little bit bigger here, go back to this. Let's say I wanted to look at where's my trading centers so trading centers are neat because you don't have to go to Jita to see how much things are you just go to the trading center and if you're posting around Jita, it's gonna sell just as fast um, this is kind of a quick way to see how far away you are from the nearest trading center versus the other option which I'll show you where you go into your market and down here which is what I use a lot if you click this button here nearby trading centers it will tell you how far away things are. Oh, apologize, but I gotta make sure I don't die. So we're definitely gonna lock on that guy first. Just make sure I don't get blown up. We'll take a look at what I got for stuff here. So I got another interceptor. And I'm just gonna keep my icon over that guy so that way he's gonna die next. Um, and I'm going to change my focus fire on my phone, which you guys can't see. I apologize. Okay. That's another good point. Let's go into the settings. Another neat little thing to have is this automatic lock back. Um, you want this turned off by the way for PVP, because when you're killing people at ratting sites, the dang enemies will start attacking you and you don't want to target them. 
but when you're ratting it's kind of nice um when i get attacked i will automatically lock on to them well i should but it's of course it's not right now um and i'm not gonna worry about it but i promise you it works it's just not working on youtube right now so we'll leave that alone um what else people want to know about oh <clears throat> of course while i'm thinking about it i'm not going to remember but there is a way to drop a ping uh, look at the solar system ah you know what for this because i'm on youtube and i'm nervous right now and i'm recording this i can't remember it but you can drop a ping in chat. You guys probably already learned this. It's pretty common now. And it helps you with navigation to get into places. Um, very, very powerful. Um, I highly recommend learning that. But that's about it. Um, it's kind of a long video. I covered a lot of topics. People had a lot of questions. Um, if you guys like the video or if you have more questions and stuff, I can try to show them as much as I can. Um, I'm very new at this. Captain Benzie, who is my corporation leader and he's amazing at making youtube videos uh he's kind of inspired me to try to do a couple so i uh, appreciate the likes and the feedback and uh cavity out